Welcome to Infi Minutes. The next parameter that we are going to discuss is called fidelity of the receiver. Fidelity is nothing but a measure of ability of the receiver to produce an exact replica of the original signal at the output side. We all know by now that communication system is nothing but transmission of information signal from the transmitter side to the receiver side. Now in this process, we modulate the signal on the transmitter side and demodulate the signal on the receiver side. So the original information signal goes through a lot of processing on the transmitter side and on the receiver side. The main aim of the communication system is to have exact information signal which was available at the input of the transmitter. And if receiver can generate exact replica of the original information signal at its output, then we say that the fidelity of the receiver is very large, very high. Any kind of change, now when will the output signal will not be exact replica? That will be the case uh, whenever there is a change in amplitude function of the signal, change in frequency of the signal or change in phase of the signal. So whenever there is a change in amplitude function, frequency or phase, then the signal that is generated on the output of the receiver will not be exactly same as the original signal. So any such type of change will decide the distortion present in the output signal and hence it will also decide the fidelity of the receiver. Now there are few important factors which decide the fidelity. In transmitter receiver mainly in the receiver we use a lot of amplifiers and most of these amplifiers use non-linear devices. All the active devices that are used in the amplifiers are non-linear devices. So non-linearity is one very important factor which decides the fidelity. Any non-linear system will disturb the amplitude function of the input signal. It will also generate the harmonics and unwanted frequencies on the output side. Now, in such a case, uh, it becomes very important to remove all the unwanted frequencies which were not originally present and only keep the frequencies which are part of the original signal. So, whenever the signal passes through any non-linear system, which could be an amplifier or even simple transmission of the signal through channel, channel is also nothing but a non-linear system, may disturb the frequencies of the signal. So we must make sure that somehow this effects of non-linearity are cancelled out. Second, presence of noise. Every time noise gets added in the signal, the demodulation and the final output signal will always be distorted and not exactly same as the original information signal. So the amount of noise which is being added must be controlled somehow. We must use filters and remove the noise uh, which is added. We must use noiseless amplifiers which have very good noise figure and do not add a lot of noise to the signal. All these measures will reduce the effect of noise in the output signal and hence improve the fidelity of the receiver.